Hubble Space Telescope was specifically designed to precisely perform observations of stars, planets, and even the most distant galaxies, and avoid any major disturbance from the atmosphere itself. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched by the Shuttle Discovery STS-31 on 24 April 1990 at 12.33.51 UTC. The date when the telescope is expected to end is anywhere between 2030 and 2040, but this entirely depends on its capabilities. Hubble was loaded into the NASA Space Shuttle Discovery with the Launch Complex 39 at the John F. Kennedy Space Center. It was set to be placed in an orbit 610 kilometers above the Earth, allowing space observation activities to begin. It takes Hubble around 95 minutes to orbit the Earth at a speed of around 7.59 kilometers per second. Hubble was made by Lockheed Martin Space with a weight of 11,100 kilograms at its launch and measures of 13.2 meters in length and 4.2 meters in diameter. Hubble is about the size of a large bus with the various advanced observation features such as an optical telescope and an inflared telescope. The diameter of the lens is only 2.4 meters, but it's considered to be one of NASA's greatest observation satellites along with the Compton Gamma Ray Observation Satellite, the Chandra X-ray Observation Satellite, and the Speech of Space Telescope. NASA took the name of American astronomer Adrian Powell Hubble, who observed and proved the expansion of the universe. Because of his contributions to the astronomer field, he was considered the best astronomer of the 20th century. Adrian Hubble published his own articles and laws that support the fact of expansion of the universe and that is the basis of the Big Bang Theory. He measured the size of the universe using the sad feed variable star, observed the galaxy, and interpreted the laugh shift as the line outside. Also, he published Hubble's law, known as the Hubble Lobatro Law. The greater the laugh shift manifested by the light emanating from such an object, the greater the distance of the object and the larger recessional velocity it has. Also, while observing galaxies, he completed a chart classification for galaxies according to appearance. His grandfather, Martin Hubble, also taught Hubble about astronomy. When Hubble was a high school student, Mrs. Grote, Hubble's teacher at the time, recognized Hubble's outstanding multifaceted talent, telling that he would become the greatest man in that time and greatly contribute to the world. Unfortunately, Hubble never had a chance to win the Nobel Prize in Physics, as astronomy doesn't belong to physics. However, everyone acknowledged the significance of his work and considered him to be the greatest astronomer of his time, and so does the Nobel Physics Committee. They did eventually change the rules for the Nobel Prize in Physics to allow Edwin Hubble to win the Nobel Prize. However, before these announcements were made, Hubble unexpectedly died of stroke. Due to regulations that prohibited awarding the Nobel Prize winners in cases of death, Hubble was unable to be awarded, and even the above discussion was kept confidential. Nevertheless, to ensure that Hubble's work would never be forgotten, the Nobel Prize Committee decided to make the information public by telling Hubble's wife, Grace, know that he was going to win the Nobel Prize. Hubble was the first astronomer to be on the cover of Time magazine, and the Hubble postage stamp was issued in the year 2000 for the 10th anniversary of the Hubble Space Telescope. Clouds and dust in the Earth's atmosphere made it difficult for an astronomical telescope that had been installed in the ground to clearly see the universe. To overcome this, in 1946, Professor Lehman Speecher of Yale University came up with the idea that if a telescope was installed in outer space or placed outside the Earth's atmosphere, a clearer universe could be observed without any obstruction to vision. It has been recognized that launching a telescope in space allows for much more precise observation of space than telescopes on the ground. Since then, it has become possible to see the details of the universe up close that ran previously unseen from the ground and deeper into the distance, which was unable to be seen before due to the influence of the Earth's atmosphere. The observable wavelength range of the Hubble Space Telescope is 115 to 2,500 nanometers. It can capture light emitted from approximately 500 million years, 
coming after the outer space became transparent. Also, a capturing light that just started arriving on Earth after a substantial amount of time spent traveling from the center of the universe. The Hubble Space Telescope allows us to observe the light and phenomena emanating when a supergiant dies. And it is confirmed that distant supernovae are moving away from our Milky Way galaxy faster, indicating that the universe is expanding at a faster rate than its currently known. The observational images that the Hubble Space Telescope provides us with serves as a guide for planetary exploration in the solar system. Through Hubble, we were able to drastically reduce the effect of background light by avoiding disturbances in the Earth's atmosphere, discovering areas where stars are formed among nebula, and confirming the existence of dark matter that still remains a mystery. The Hubble Space Telescope's vision is 10 billion times that of the human eye, and it can detect even the small glow of fireflies from a distance of 16,000 kilometers in order for the Hubble telescope to float stably in space, it took tremendous engineering design. The Hubble telescope is required to maintain a line of slight pointing error less than 0.007 arc seconds for observations lasting as long as 24 hours. Assuming you take a laser beam with the same accuracy, you'll be able to fire the laser beam from the top of the CN Tower. Then through material with an accuracy to hit a tan sand coin, as is thrown off the roof of a hotel more than 330 kilometers away. The Hubble Space Telescope is designed to allow long-term observation of a celestial body while orbiting the Earth, meaning as the body of the telescope moves. The owl will continually observe the same place without moving. The Hubble Space Telescope weighs about 12 tons, which is larger and heavier than a bus, but uses a small amount of power, like what you would need to power a washing machine with a built-in 2.4-meter wide reflector. The Hubble Space Telescope has made it possible for us to witness the birth and death of planets, as well as the birth of the universe. And now, this wonderful telescope is a symbol of human exploration beyond our solar system, showing us the secrets that the universe holds. Now we can use it to capture the light that animated about 500 million years after the birth of the universe and the light that arrived on Earth after a substantial amount of time spent traveling from the center of the universe. Through the Hubble Space Telescope, huge black holes in the center of the galaxy and traces of galactic collision were observed, as well as the collision of Comet shoemaker Levy and Jupiter in 1994. Plus, it is now possible to estimate the age of the universe. It is suggested to be between 13 and 15 billion years old. At the beginning, the images by the Hubble Space Telescope could only be taken in low resolution due to a defect in the optics. But after sending an astronaut to repair it in December 1993, images were then able to be taken in a much higher resolution. And since then, it has made space observations clearer. Additional improvements for better performance have been carried out four times between 1997 and 2009. And for two months, from November 1999, the Hubble Space Telescope was put on to safe mode, being unable to make any new observations until December 6th, when the spacewalking astronauts from the Space Shuttle Discovery could make some repairs. Every time astronauts repaired the telescopes, they added the latest new technologies for electronics, mechanical parts, detectors, and new equipment such as cameras, which would always dramatically improve Hubble's performance. In 2003, when the Hubble Space Telescope's solar panels became damaged, crew members aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia set out to replace its equipment and camera. NASA has released some of the photographs taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. The first image is of the Pillars of Creation, a photograph taken by Hubble of elephant trunks of interstellar gas and dust in the Eagle Nebular. 7,000 light years away from Earth. It is believed that the Pillars of Creation, taken in 1995, is the most famous photograph in history. The area is composed of interstellar gas and dust, shows the formation of stars, and the length of the longest pillar is as much as 4 light years. This is the Butterfly Nebula, photographed in 1997. Located 1,200 light years away from Earth, 
showing the appearance of two giant stars shining into outer space as they die. This is also known as the Twin Jet Nebula. This is the Walpole Galaxy photographed in 2005. The central part of the Walpole Galaxy, also known as NGC 5194, showing two spider arms, is a cluster of older stars. This is Mystic Mountain photographed in 2010. It is part of the Carina Nebula, located 7,500 light years away, and the pillar height measures around 3 light years. It is believed to be the mystical side itself of the star forming universe. The following is the Bubble Nebula, photographed in 2016. The Bubble Nebula, also known as NGC 7635, is 7,100 light years away from Earth, with the central bubble about 7 light years in width. And the star at the center of the nebula has been found to have a radius that is about 45 times larger than the Sun. This is the Southern Crab Nebula, photographed in 2019. It is 6,400 light years away from Earth, with the diameter being estimated to be around 5 to 10 light years. This nebula belongs to the Centrus, where Proxima Centauri is located. The Hubble Space Telescope has allowed humans to discover thousands of new galaxies, due to its abilities to provide us with amazing photographs of these galaxies. Everything is clearly visible, including beautiful vast nebula, colorful and sparkling galaxies, and exploding stars. The Hubble Space Telescope has completely changed the way humans see the universe. The telescope is capable of capturing things that are more than 10 billion light years away in a single image, including the famous deep field images. It is now possible to see the truly marvelous appearance of distant galaxies gathered in the sky that could only be seen in our imaginations. And the dark objects captured have been found to be new galaxies that are located over billions of light years away.